students a very good morning to one and all welcome to the next lecture of online theory class series of subject novel drug delivery system i am mrs arti ojumla associate professor from the department of pharmaceutics smriti college of pharmaceutical education in law dear students in continuation of our discussion over transdermal drug delivery system so far we have discussed about what are transdermal drug delivery system including their advantages and limitations we have also discussed about the structure of skin and physiology of skin and what is the mechanism of percutaneous absorption in today's uh, lecture we are going to discuss about various factors affecting percutaneous absorption and also we are going to study about various techniques which are used for enhancing the percutaneous absorption so trans as we uh, we have already understood that transdermal patches sorry transdermal drug delivery system are uh, the type of drug delivery system in which drug is applied onto the surface of intact skin in the form of transdermal patch from this patch drug is released into the and permeated into the percutaneous tissue into through the skin and which is through the systemic circulation at a predetermined and controlled rate so uh, the main basic steps in percutaneous absorption is that when the drug is administered on to the surface of skin it is applied on to the surface of intact skin in the form of transdermal patch first step is the absorption of drug molecule on to the stratum corneum uh, which is the uppermost layer of the skin epidermis and then uh, next step is the diffusion of drug molecules through this stratum corneum uh, across uh, followed by stratum granulosum spinosum and the viable epidermis layer which is the basal epidermis layer and that drug reaches to the dermis layer of the skin in it is in this dermis layer of the skin where the blood uh, vessels are embedded so uh, next step is the uh, taken off uh, drug molecules diffusion of these drug molecule into the blood vessel and then which further followed by systemic distribution of drug molecule to various organs uh, so this is the basic mechanism of percutaneous absorption this percutaneous absorption it is a passive diffusion it is uh, preferably it occurs preferably through passive diffusion so this follows fick's first law of diffusion according to, uh, which states that drug molecule diffuses from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration here the flux or the rate of diffusion it is is equal to it is directly proportional to the area surface area part of the membrane through which drug is drug has to be absorbed or cross or permeated then partition coefficient of the drug and thickness it is inversely proportional to the thickness of membrane thickness of skin where through which drug has to be permeated now the various factors which affects percutaneous absorption they are they may be either physical chemical properties of drug or they can be physical chemical properties of drug delivery system or they could be physiological and pathological condition of skin and biological factors may affect absorption percutaneous absorption in physical physical chemical properties of drug major properties that affect absorption are solubility partition coefficient pka and drug hydrolyzation and drug concentration so let's discuss each of these factors one by one how they affect percutaneous absorption solubility of drug directly affects percutaneous absorption as it determine the absorbability of concentration of drug available at the site of application then partition coefficient partition coefficient can be defined as fraction of drug in an oily layer to that of an aqueous layer so for a drug for a drug to be 
absorbed through continuous absorption they should have sufficient lipid solubility they should have sufficient uh, the partition coefficient should not be lesser than 1 to be absorbed through transdermal route to be absorbed through lipidic membrane of skin then drug iodization and pk this is a very important physical chemical properties of drug which determine the absorption of drug through skin as most of the therapeutic agents they may be either weak acids or maybe weak acids so they exist in both ionizable form and in non-ionizable form it is the non-ionizable form which is responsible for uh, which is uh, absorbed preferably which permeates preferably through the skin so the drug weak acidic drug which are having pk value between 3 to 7.5 and weak acid weakly acidic therapeutic agents weakly acidic drug which are having pk value between 7 to 11 these drug they preferably exist in non ionizable form and are better absorbed through transdermal patches now drug concentration drug concentration should be higher as it increases the concentration gradient which is responsible which is required for the passive diffusion of drug molecules through the skin now physical chemical properties of drug delivery system release characteristic of drug delivery system and composition and permeation enhancer of uh, composition and which formation enhancer has been used incorporated in the drug delivery system that is transdermal patch now release characteristic these depends upon the various polymers which are used in the uh, designing of in the formulation of transdermal drug delivery system so various uh, different uh, polymers they have different release characteristics and then composition and permeation enhancer uh, composition it depends upon which uh, some molecules for example methyl salicylate the active form of methyl salicylate is salicylic acid however methyl salicylate is highly lipid soluble it is lipophilic uh, and there is salicylic acid as is it has low lipophilicity so if the composition if the methyl salicylate it is incorporated in drugs in the first batch uh, in contrast to salicylic acid then it will be better absorbed through uh, skin then permission enhancer again use if incorporated they again increases enhances the percutaneous absorption now physiological and pathological condition of skin skin uh, is covered with a protective layer of sebum which are secreted by sebaceous gland this this sebum layer it uh, prevent entry of any substance into the skin invasion of bacteria and other external substances into the skin so the fatting of skin using various solvents can favor percutaneous absorption because sebum layer will be removed from there and then uh, direct stratum uh, drug will be diffused directly into the stratum cornea now skin hydration skin hydration again increases the porosity of the skin and again uh, favors percutaneous absorption now, it is because of this reason transdermal patches in transdermal patches they are such design that they form an occlusive covering onto the skin surface which minimizes evaporation of sweat from that place and it results in hydration of skin where the at the site where transdermal patches are applied which result in favored percutaneous absorption then skin temperature skin temperature increasing the temperature of skin favors the absorption of uh, drug molecule through the skin layers then vehicle effect of vehicle which vehicle which uh, which type of polymers are used in the formulation of batch they again determine the uh, percutaneous absorption rate for example if lipophilic vehicle if they are uh, used if uh, vehicle which have uh, have higher lipophilicity they can for example lipoidal uh, if lipid lipoidal carriers lipoidal polymeric 
polymers are used so they can properly mix or properly uh, I can say they can properly uh, mix us with the skin layers and they favors absorption in contrast to the hydrophilic uh, hydrophilic carriers or hydrophilic vehicle uh, an example I can explain you for example paraffin bags they are obtrusive they are, they are lipoidal they are uh, lipophilic uh, carrier but as compared in contrast to paraffin bases paraffin vehicle if water in oil vehicle is used then it result in more better absorption to percutaneous membrane because in water in oil emulsion both aqueous and lipophilic uh, phases are there as they are uh, see our skin is they are prepared from the phospholipid skin cells they are emulsion of skin cell it resemble uh, it has phospholipid and which resemble uh, water in oil emulsion so the vehicle that has some resemblance with the skin layer or skin cells they favor percutaneous absorption then injury to skin any injury injury to the skin it result in the opening cut or any cuts uh, if uh, skin is injured by in any way it result uh, in the favored absorption because the more uh, the foremost barrier stratum corneum is removed from that place so it uh, even it result in toxicity also so always transdermal patches are applied on the intact skin surfaces now biological factors such as skin age with the age uh, skin permeation permeability of skin decreases as in ch uh, children or in infant permeable skin is more permeable as compared to the adult and skin thickness i have already explained you that skin has wide range uh, thickness of skin varies from side to side uh, starting from uh, 0.5 mm which approximately 0.5 mm which is uh, the thickness of eyelids and up to the uh, 4 mm which is approximately 4 mm which is uh, the thickness of his skin at his so the thickness where if the thickness is less because rate of diffusion it is inversely proportional to the uh, thickness so where the thickness is less then the absorption will be more now skin metabolism sometimes because of this skin secretions uh, some drug may be metabolized may result it may result skin secretions may result in the biotransformation of drug which may further uh, affect the bioavailability of drug so these are all factors various factors which affects percutaneous absorption of drug molecule and then uh, there are certain techniques which are used to enhance percutaneous absorption these techniques they can be classified as physical uh, physical techniques physical procedures such as antiphoresis electrophoresis operation then ultrasound use of ultrasound may be there to enhance percutaneous absorption or maybe the use of micro needles then thermal correction may be there thermal correction technique can be used then radio frequency jet propelled particulate delivery delivery method then super saturation and photomechanical waves can be used to enhance percutaneous absorption apart from these physical techniques there are certain chemical enhancers chemicals which are available uh, which when incorporated in the formulation of transdermal drug delivery system they result in increased permeability of skin and thus resulting in enhanced percutaneous absorption so students in our next lecture we are going to study about these techniques in detail and what are the various chemical enhancers which are used for the enhance for enhancing the percutaneous absorption of drug